Hello, my name is James Flores and welcome to my channel. Today I have a short but random video and I'm going to try to explain to you why the 15th stop is called the 15th stop. And on your left here is a very familiar organ, the Hereford Cathedral sample set by Lavender Audio. And the 15th stop sounds a bit like this. Pretty high, isn't it? And most organists will know that the 15th stop plays two octaves above written. If we were to play the same thing on an 8 foot stop, it sounds at concert pitch. To get the same effect, we'd have to play it up two octaves. Now why is a 15th stop called a 15th stop? Let's think about scale degrees. The C major scale is based on the 1st, the 3rd and the 5th. So if we count all the way up, C to C is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's why it's called the 15th, because we're 15 um, steps, 15 notes above the, the, the original C. So a 15th for D would be two octaves. And just to confuse you even more, this is how we get the 12th. The 12th is actually, so C to C, that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so it's an octave and a fifth above as written. So if we know that the 15th is two octaves, 15, 16, 17th, 17th is two octaves and a third, uh, we don't have a 17th stop on this organ. If, can we go even higher? Yes, 17, 18, 19, a 19th is two octaves and a fifth and before I run out of notes can we go a little bit further yes we can 19 20 21 22 so a 22nd stop is um, three octaves above as written and I believe that would be uh, equivalent to a one foot pipe so there you have it I hope that explains to you why a 15 stop is called a 15 stop why a 12th is called a 12th stop, why uh, a 17th, a 19th and a 22nd are called their respective names. I just found that very interesting uh, when I first discovered it and I, when I first discovered it and I hope you do too. So thank you and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye for now.